Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. Alright friends, it is Saturday morning. It is 1016. I want to let you all know that I slept in till 9 a.m. this morning. It was incredible, but I also feel like I've like wasted part of the day. But I turned off my alarm clock and just slept. And it has been glorious. We're gonna go on a little support small business venture today. I also decided when waking up that I was going to bring my inner Jenna Lyons out in my outfit today. So I have an oversized white button down shirt that kind of comes out at the sleeves. It's a little long line and I have that layered under a cream sweater and then this camel coat and I wore leopard shoes because she says leopard is a neutral so I'm bringing all my Jenna Lyons vibes. The only thing I'm missing are my aviator glasses which I almost wore but they fog up when I wear my mask and it drives me crazy especially when I'm trying to shop and I can't see things and you all know very well what I'm going to listen during my drive-in. We are going to be listening to the new Taylor Swift album because it's stellar. Well, I'm all for Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. That you're missing I will keep you warm As soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do We will be alright These holiday wonders Will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live The dream I knew This Christmas I only Wanna be close to you called arenas it is so beautiful and i actually am finding some stuff to go with next year's theme which is going to be that really neutral vibe but you guys just have to see the store it's so stunning like look at this They have such an eclectic vibe, which is so cool. There was one thing that I saw my on my way up that I have to get. I already have some things at the counter as well. But look at this piece wreath form. I love it plain, but I could totally see switching it up and adding different things to it, but I just think it is so pretty. Look at this. Totally scoring this. Every Saturday, you should shop local if you can. I mean, look at this place. Literally obsessed. Everything actually like goes with my theme for next year. So I'm picking up a couple pieces. I got to two of the places I wanted to get to today. Arenas and Wisteria. 
However, the third place I wanted to go to was way too crowded for me to feel comfortable. So I didn't even park in the parking lot. I actually like drove through and drove right back out. And then I decided to go and support a local coffee shop because I don't always get the opportunity because I'm not down this way that often. So there's this new place called Matilda and I got their salted caramel latte. And it's amazing because it's not too sweet. So I thought I'd show you what I picked up at the stores I went to. So from Wisteria, and I'm gonna leave them linked below. I don't know what their online presence looks like, but I thought I'd love them, leave them linked. They actually had from the Bedrock Tree Farm, they had, and I've never seen this before, First of all, look how cute that is. But they had a Christmas tree fur scented candle and it actually has fur needles from the Christmas tree farm in the candle. I've never seen anything like it. It's soy and it has like regular wicks and a wood wick in it. Never have it, oh my gosh, I can smell it from here. I've just never seen anything like this. So I picked this up. Then I went to another store that I really love. It's called Arena's. I've been there a couple times. You know you're at a small business when your receipt is all handwritten. I picked up these beautiful taper candles, once again, getting my Jenna Lyons vibes on for my candle holder. They're made out of all beeswax, and I love this Paris gray and black. So I bought those for my candlesticks on my uh, coffee table. And then I also, Saw these online somewhere, but they go perfectly with my theme for next year. So I picked up these three little trees. They're super light, but they also could work up in my bedroom for this year. So I might actually go put those up there. And then lastly, I fell in love. And you saw in the store, I fell in love with this wreath. It's enormous, but I do think next year if I like hand wire, live greens on the bottom. It's just stunning, but it's also huge. I had a vision that maybe I'd be able to layer it in here, but I just don't think it'll work. Let me mess with this and see what happens. Another small business I went to is my greenhouse, which you guys hear me talk about all the time. And I picked up some things to do those two pots that I spray painted and they just need a little bit more time to dry down, but I'm not being super careful with them. That dirt needs replaced next year anyway. But if I do these with the wilt stop, they should last all winter. I brought my pots up and I'm really loving how layered this is all looking on the front porch. I think when you're trying to pull off a Christmas porch, nothing is more important than having lots of height and lots of variation and layers because it just falls flat if everything is like on the same plane or same height. So I'm gonna review once again what I've done. These are a bunch of Amazon boxes that I filled with old jar candles to weight them down and I just have them stacked. I have three different sized lanterns in here. All the candles are on timers. And then I spray painted this old white deer that I had and I also spray painted these tree pots that used to be white and then my planters. When I do my planters, I think of three things. One thing that's really high, one thing with structure, and then something that I can drape. So you'll see in my planters in the center, I already have willow branches. I bought this cedar, that's my drape. And then for my filler and my structure, I'm just going to stick some of these Fraser firs all the way around and then nestle in the cedar for draping. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas when everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy, but now this year is twice as special cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter wonderland. This is the first planter done. It looks beautiful. My cypress isn't hanging as much as I would like it to. And then I just nestled some pine cones in there, but when you step back, it looks really, really good there. I just need to fill that one in with cypress as well but I wish it would hang a little better, but you can't win them all. All right, the porch is finally done. 
there are the two arrangements on there. Here's the thing, my friends, when you're on it, it feels like a lot, but I also consider when you're decorating seasonally your front porch, A, none of this will be permanent. Basically, all that will end up here after Christmas are these two urns and my lanterns. However, if you want it to read from the road, you have to think about it almost like a theater stage, like where you exaggerate makeup and costumes and all of those things. Because from the porch, it feels like a lot, but from a distance, it actually, the layers and the height make it really work. I am just telling you all that I cannot get enough of Evermore. And I thought Folklore was good. Folklore was good, but I, I love it all. I am burning my soy candle. It smells so good. Also to keep with supporting small businesses today, Stephen is actually upstairs sleeping. I can hear him snoring. Um, but I went ahead and ordered from a local restaurant that is up the road from us. And I'm having that delivered to the house today. Just because I know a lot of restaurants are really suffering now, especially in our area where cases are going up. They're definitely struggling. So I ordered from there today for dinner. Oh, I love this here. I also added this blue velvet ribbon to it that I had. It's so cute. Also, I don't love the hook, but it'll work. Maybe I'll spray paint one gold and switch it out later. Had a couple of you ask how I was liking the candles on the tree, and the answer would be that I love them. I don't like them every single night, but you can see I have them lit tonight, and there has been a few nights where we've only had the candles on. The batteries have lasted long. I just replace one at a time when I need to. I got them from Balsam Hill. They're linked in the description box. They take one AAA battery. And I mean, I've replaced, I think, five so far. But they definitely do add a very nice, like, ambiance to the tree. And it also, like, ha gives the tree a sense of, like, movement, which is really nice. Paired with the twinkle lights. Hi, this is your first appearance. Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? Do you want to say hello? All right, time for advent calendars. It is day 12, it is halfway through Vlogmas. That's just crazy. We got a church today, I love it. Beekman 1802, day 12. We got an oak moss lip balm. Geranium, juniper, and patchouli body wash. Ooh. Pour some sugar on me. I have a Bubba's next to me, acting like everything is his. We got pumpkin spiced almonds. Ooh. It is a really cute winter hat. What? 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 Your advent calendar looks a mess. <laughs> you have <laughs> The snowflakes look so good, and look how good this looks! Steven readjusted some of our outdoor spotlights. Oh, this is in the window. But it looks so good. I love the uplighting of the house. We want to work on getting one to go up into this eave a little bit more. But it looks really good out here. I love the way the snowflakes look from the windows. It's perfect. It's time to wrap up our day with some gratitudes. Um, he is grateful for fries from dinner. Great. What are you grateful for? That my husband ordered dinner for us so we didn't have to make it. Aw. I'm grateful to small businesses that bring lots of character to their communities. Oh, so we're all on the same page. Oh, we were all on the same page. Literally on the same page. Come here. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.